infection. Yeah, severe acute respiratory infections. I'm glad. It is a very, very oft repeated word in COVID days. Okay. So we are talking about ARI today. And remember, we often hear the word Surrey. Inflammation of respiratory tract anywhere from the nose to the alveolus is called as ARI. Remember, whenever you start a, 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 an answer, always define. Okay. There is something called as AURI and there's something called as LURI. Generally, SARI is associated with LURI. That is the lower uh, uh, respiratory tract infection. Uh, acute upper respiratory tract infection and lower respiratory. I don't know why you. I don't know. It should be LRI. Okay. Running nose, cough, sore throat, diff difficulty in breathing, ear aches. Many a time when we get a, a, a cough, the ear also aches. Fever is common, commonly a mild, but a very, very off, off, off seen infection in children. Some may develop severity and even die. Remember, all of you will see ARI cases when you start practicing as an intern or as a medical officer. Therefore, it's a very, very commonly seen it should be diagnosed and you should initiate prompt treatment, which is simple. And therefore, you may prevent a child from death also. It may sound very, very simple, ARI, but it can cause a child to die. Measles and pertussis are important causes of ARI in developing nations. Both the lessons have been covered in your case. It's a problem across Southeast Asia, all across India, Indonesia, Nepal, Bangladesh, Pakistan, all the countries all around, 40% of global mortality is seen in this developing part of the world. 90% of ARI deaths are due to pneumonia, malnutrition, low birth weight, indoor pollution. They are additional risk factors. Under fives have about five attacks per year on an average. I'm not talking about you and me. We are slightly you know, privileged, having come from a, a fairly okay socioeconomic background. I'm talking about those who are staying in the rural areas with less of hygiene, malnutrition, low birth weight babies, and under fives who are uh, not immunized properly. So they are, uh, they are prone to about four to five attacks per year. Major cause of hospital admissions in India, causing about 13% of inpatient pediatric deaths. We talked about the deaths in SARS, but we never talk about deaths in tuberculosis, ARI, diarrhea, very, very common diseases, which are killing equally a large number of people in countries like ours. Indicators to assess correct management. Well, inappropriate antibiotic, not prescribing any antibiotic, respiratory rate counted or not counted, just in drawing, check or not check, correct home care. So these are the indicators. I'll tell you more about them. Agent factors, there are numerous agents causing AR, starting from bacteria, viruses, others. Bacteria, we have, we have talked about the pertussis one last time, coronavirus bacteria, hemophilus influenza, Lepsilia anemia, hemophilia, staph pyogenes, streptococcus pyogenes, viruses are adeno, entero, coxsackie, ecovirus, influenza, measles, suburbs. We have got chlamydia, coxella, bumin, and we have got mycobacterium pneumonia causing yeah. small children and elderly both can be affected, but generally we are talking about the under five cell. Rates of pharyngitis and otitis media increase to peak at about five years of age. Adult illness, except, you know, some severe illnesses in men, it's generally, uh, it's generally mild. Environmental factors, well, a lot depends on, on the environment, especially in a country like ours, the climate, the hot and humid climate, housing, the daycare centers, which are overcrowded, industrialization, socioeconomic development, the nutrition, the undernutrition part, overcrowding, I already told you, low birth weight babies and indoor pollution, including a, a very, very worrying factor of maternal smoking because the father smokes, generally he's out of the house 
but in case the mother smokes inside the house the baby is more prone to acute respiratory infections the mode of transmission is airborne and direct person to person contact clinical assessment we assess the age the duration we assess the patient by asking his age duration of the of the of the uh, of the symptoms feeding whether he is breastfeeding or he is feeding otherwise any antecedent illnesses fever drowsiness convulsions breathing pattern any cyanosis present and in case they have taken some treatment somewhere physical examination please remember this is the most important part of the uh, diagnosis is respiratory rate per minute all of you when you are back in the wards you must check respiratory rates in in normal or disease children you must ask the pediatrician as to how to check how to go down to a level and check the respiratory rate how to count it sounds very simple but when it comes to the exam when it comes to the diagnosis you got to be very very specific and accurate repeated chest in drawing strider when inhaling wheeze during expiration strider when inhaling wheeze during expiration okay drowsiness the the basal body temperature malnutrition and cyanosis these are the more important things that you check please remember respiratory rate of 60 per minute or more in less than 2 months of age 50 per minute or more from 2 to 12 months that is that is you can say a, a little bit a neonatal area neonatal period and a month plus and beyond that up to the 12 12 months of age that is infancy 50 per minute 40 per minute or more in children who are 1 year to 5 years of age this is the respiratory rate which you must remember 60 50 40 i'll tell you more classification please remember between 2 months to under 5 there are four classifications of ar very severe disease severe pneumonia pneumonia in brackets not severe and no pneumonia which we generally write as common cold or cough or cold but you people are doctors you know specific protocols please write these terms which are understood across the board right cough or cold right no pneumonia right pneumonia not severe right severe pneumonia or you write very severe ari in a young infant who is less than 2 months of age the cut off for rr is 60 breaths per minute i already explained to you and any pneumonia in a child who is less than 2 months is termed as severe clear this classification is very important 2 months and below very severe disease or severe disease 2 months and above up to under 5s very severe severe pneumonia and no pneumonia we will discuss these one by one very severe disease signs not able to drink convulsions or abnormal sleep difficult to wake up the baby is lethargic strider when calm whenever the uh, the baby is calm but you can hear the, the strider and of course by seeing the baby you can make out it is having severe malnutrition please remember very severe disease management obviously hospitalization first dose of injectable antibiotic is given perhaps if the baby is brought to the primary health center or to you in a health center give the first dose of injectable antibiotic treat fever and wheeze give anti malarials in case you suspect some kind of cerebral malaria by seeing neck rigidity very commonly seen once upon a time very common still in certain parts of india including northeast and please refer the patient to the hospital okay i am talking about a young medical officer like you seeing a case of severe disease giving the first antibiotic giving an antipyretic looking for the respiratory rate and wheeze checking for cerebral malaria writing a notes properly and sending him to a pediatrician or the next level of referral that is all you can do that is all you must do very severe disease severe pneumonia respiratory rate has to be seen if exhausted the respiratory rate slows sometimes the baby is exhausted because breathing heavily also makes you exhausted there is chest drawing 
there is nasal flaring the baby is making an effort to take in air grunting and cyanosis well management first dose of injectable antibiotic something which we saw here okay first dose of injectable antibiotic treat fever and wheeze refer urgently in case referral is not possible because of distance or the patient's reluctance or absence of an ambulance then please detain the patient in your health center and continue with the antibiotic with close monitoring so you can afford to detain a patient of severe pneumonia but you cannot afford to keep a case of very severe disease in your health center you got to refer you got to send him pneumonia there is no chest in drawing a fast breathe here we had in case of severe pneumonia we had chest in drawing and nasal flaring and grunting and fast breathe here we don't have any chest in drawing or fast breathing but at the same time when you auscultate or when you see the baby you know the baby is sick please keep the baby warm breastfeed frequently clear the nose teach the mother how to clear the nose and in case of worsening signs return immediately to the medical officer these things which are written in blue are instructions for the mother or the father generally the generally the baby is got to the hospital or the health center by the parent that is the mother well the injectable or oral antibiotic you can make a choice depending on the kind of diagnosis or the kind of severity you think patient has pick the fever and wheeze which is almost the same advise the mother that i am sending the baby back with you please come back in two days time or in case the baby is getting bus right that is sos please get back sos or after two days so you can start an oral antibiotic you can treat the fever and wheeze and you can send back the patient with the mother for home care which i told you initially breastfeeding and normal feeding should continue keep the infant warm clear the nose many a child will have a blocked nose you know they can't breathe tell the mother to clean the nose and in case of worsening signs the baby must be got back to the mo no pneumonia cough or cold it happens to me and you there's no chest in drawing a fast breathing management is to assess and treat antibiotics are generally not recommended because we have a viral infection advise the mother on home care and home care means the same things which are written in blue the infant should be kept warm it should be the breastfeeding should continue in case the infant is breastfeeding clear the nose and in case of worsening signs get back the patient you may you may you know also um, advise an antibiotic oral antibiotic at home no pneumonia just assess and treat could be a viral pneumonia could be a viral cough and cold just give some you know uh, medicines for the fever in case you want and tell the mother to take adequate home care and return in case the baby is not well so the 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 most important part of the lesson is very severe disease severe disease pneumonia and no pneumonia please remember these classifications are only for children who are 2 months or more in age up to under 5s okay well ari in a very young infant that is less than 2 months they are much more vulnerable any danger sign classifies as pneumonia also many non specific signs are present in the child so any any ari in a young child of 2 months age or 1 month age is termed as severe disease all these are asked to you in the viva these are asked to you in the pediatric case presentation these will be asked to you in case you get a baby as a case in spm case presentation please remember these things should be in what is the classification in a baby more than 2 months age and what is the classification in a baby less than 2 months of age from the point of view of the exam very important as well as from the point of view of your practice later on it is very important cut off for fast breathing is 60 per minute i already told you a very small infant breathes at 60 breaths per minute so in case the cross 60 you have to be very very specific take a watch keep a proper count in case the 60 plus it is severe pneumonia 
very severe disease, severe pneumonia, no pneumonia, cough and cold. Follow the protocol as discussed. Oh, sorry, these are for the for the children who are more than two months. Now we will we will come to the children who are less than two months. Risk factors must be understood and look for improved living conditions. Very easy to say, difficult to ensure. Improved nutrition, reduction of smoke and indoor pollution. Very very important. You can tell the parents better mother and child health care. Immunization, measles is very very important. Nowadays we have got pentavalent with Hib, pneumococcal pneumonia vaccine. Mother's education is most important, and community and family support is of course required. We have an acute respiratory disease control program, which is taken up as a pilot project in 1990. Then this was integrated in the CSSM program, okay, which started in 1992 and 1993. this is the safe childhood and motherhood program cssm program we used to read it long back then it became the rcs program and the acute respiratory disease control program was integrated in the rcs program there is an integrated global plan for prevention of pneumonia and diarrhea we have perhaps taught you about diarrhea i'm not sure but we have an integrated global plan for the prevention of pneumonia And diarrhea, and this is called as GAPPD. This is a cohesive approach, critical services and interventions. If you get a question on ARI in general, you can include the national program, and you you can include the GAPPD, just as you just mentioned. Okay, so there are certain goals for GAPPD program: mortality reduction due to pneumonia to less than three per thousand live births, mortality due to diarrhea less than one per thousand births. That is by 2025, about five more years to go. Reduce severe pneumonia and diarrhea by 75 percent. Reduce stunting by 40 percent. Okay, 2010 being the base year. Coverage targets have been revised. 90 percent vaccine coverage by 2025. Okay, yeah. Somebody, somebody is telling something. By 2030, oh. universal access to basic drinking water, adequate sanitation, and washing oh. facilities, clean and safe energy techniques. So that's that oh. completes oh. ARI. Oh. What I wanted to say was, a young infant, less than two months, any pneumonia is severe, and I think we covered it here. Okay, any infant. Who comes to you less than two? Months, please take antibiotic, give any anti-malarials and the fever antipyretics and refer. That's all we can do. Whereas in case of an older child, in case of pneumonia or no pneumonia, we can still take a chance by sending the patient home. That is, advise the mother on home care and send the patient home. Therefore, we covered two respiratory infections today. One is SARS, severe acute respiratory syndrome, and one is ARI. as for the book the next topic that is tuberculosis is vast and very important when we start tuberculosis next next class or next week perhaps it may take about two to three classes to cover the entire tuberculosis and it is actually a very very important chapter from your medicine pediatrics pulmonology and spm point of view tuberculosis you should not miss in fact it takes us time as faculty to read through the chapter and understand the new things which come up with every you know new policy of the government or some treatment policy please attend the next class on tuberculosis also when you finish